I've got to shave. Anyway, I got a lot of expansion packs. And, you know, I got them um, through some offer they gave us anyway years ago. And I got his expansion pack. I'm going to load one in right here and right now. And this is going to have a sequence tied to it and everything. Now, the thing I'm talking about by destroying these samples is that you ever notice how low the samples are? Like, these are samples. Here's a kick drum right here. Now, that may sound kind of loud, right? And if I come to here and play it, that's low. <laughs> is that the same? I come, here's another sound. I pick any sound. I put this down here. What the hell? It's You can barely hear it like that, right? So I picked that sound. I am in home. I will go here to wave. And the sound I picked is this one. That sound right there. That sound is not as loud as it should be to be loud. I don't know why they're not, but I generally destroy all the samples when I get a sample pack that I want to use some of those samples and do something to them. So, for example, this is a sample from that expansion pack. This is that sample. Look how low that is. Look how it's balanced on one side. There's more waveform here than is on the other side. Why is that? Go to this one here, too. This is a, a sound of a bunch of hi-hats, uh, snare drums, right? Yeah, some sort of trap kind of feel. This is a open hi-hat, and it sounds like it's just pissing away. See, this, this is, these are, all these samples are not really there. Look at this sound. Look at this sound. That is so thin a sound. So what I normally will do, I'll get this sound here. I know I'm hearing this wave thing, right? So what I really want to do is go to here first. Then I want to go to sample edit. I see the same sound in sample edit. I hit right here. I hear a little bit louder. Notice too, once I look in my folder here, or my file here, and you go here to the upper right hand corner, you will see you don't see any kind of sound going through this view meter, right? Vine meter right there. But if I go back to home right here and home, and I hit the same sound, you see it right there. Now that's one thing I, well, I'm not even gonna talk about that, but I want you to notice that first of all. And so I go back here to sample edit. I wanna take this sound and normalize it. You know, I wanna get this sound as loud as possible before I try to do anything to it. I'll press do it. And look how big it is now, that's pretty big. So now I wanna go back to home I want to hear it again. You can hear the difference. That sounds real good now. That's hitting hard compared to before. I get this sound here too. Now this sounds like this imbalanced thing, but I will do the same thing here. I'll go back to sample edit. I will come here and I want to destroy this sample. It's essentially, I'm going to normalize it and I'm probably going to put some EQs and stuff on top of it, but we're going to go to here first. We're going to normalize the sample, we'll press do it. And we're going to get this to come back to us. We'll hear this back. And then I want to go um, to right here and play it back. That's louder. So I go back to home again. I can do it to every one of these sounds pretty much. This sound here. This one here. How about this one? This one especially. I'm going to come to this one here. I go back to my sample edit page here. Right? That's it right there. I want to take this sample and I want to normalize it. I go over here to normalize. I will normalize this sample too as well. well. Normalize the sample. Oh, look at that. That looks a beautiful thing. Let's hit it. You can hear how loud, much louder that is. You can hear how hard that is. That's much better. I go back to my home page again, uh, home mode. That doesn't require to be louder. And the reason why I do this, I want to make sure I no, no need to put the samples up louder in the fit if I have to mix. No need to like mess around with the sample much more. I can tell exactly what's there. And I want to get a strong sample to use. And a lot of times when you get an expansion pack, you should probably do this. Now, what I'll also do besides this, I will take this drum sound. I like that drum sound. I will probably want to hear this back probably in what they got here already. Now that sounds pretty good. Let me get rid of some of the stuff. There's some, of the, there's some of the noises up in here. I have no idea what they are, but I only want to get these drum sounds so they sound hard for me. And you can hear how good that sounds. There are some noises in here I don't like. Yeah, that's good. And you hear how strong that drum is. Now what I'll do, I will go to a brand new sequence. Let's go to sequence number two. Then nothing's here. So I'll take this bass drum here 
and I'm probably going to come with this bass drum and put it right there. Right? That's that bass drum. And I'll hit it. I know that's it. I see the view meter over here. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to come right to here. I want to get something out of that bass drum. So I may want to add a, some strength to it, right? I'll go to here and I'll go to like EQ. I'll go to here to Air Music Technology EQ. Parametric EQ. I'll pull this up. And it goes right there. Now I'll pull it up right here. I got the graphic idea here. What's gonna do? I want to go to here. I'm gonna go to bass. I can go to drum too. I can go to drum here. I can make it hit harder. Let's try that. Make it hit harder. Let's hear this now. Look at my V meter right there. It's hitting harder. I can come to here, let's say, and I got drum to uh filter it. That sounds bad, <laughs> but I'm giving you an idea of what you can actually do. So in my case, what I want to do is I'm going to go to drum, I'm going to make it harder. It's hitting harder right now. Like that, that sound sounds good. I'll go to here, I'll get rid of that, let's say, you know, and what I want to do is keep that sample. I'm here in sequence two, I right, can, let's say, come to right here. And this is where we want to, we want to sort of like, I want to pretty much export that sound with the effect. Now I've got it. Now all I gotta do is take this sound here and drag it to my desktop. Let me close this out of here. And I wanna drag this sound here to my desktop. Let me grab it for sure. There it is. And drag it right here. And now it's gonna go here into what, to buy my music section here. And it says sequence two. See that? I'm gonna open this up. And I'm gonna open it up now with uh, QuickTime. And now let's hear it. That's the sample. Now all I'll do now is I'll bring this to the sample and I'll cut the rest of it off of here. I can bring this right back into my project as a sample and cut it off. So let's say I do that. I'll come back into here and I'll drag this sound here, this waveform into here and boom. It goes back in here, right? And there it is. Sequence 2 sample right there. That's it. And I got it now. I'm going to go to sample edit. I'm in sample edit right here. That's the sample right there. But I want to get rid of all this other crap. This is all I need. I want to get this part right here. And so what I want to do, I want to truncate this sucker up and get it make sure it's straight. So I come down here to my editing window and we want to probably, let's see, um, discard. So we're going to discard. We're going to discard the front and the end. Let's discard that stuff, what we have in there, keep what we got in the middle. And then we want to see what happens. It does it. And this is my sample size. Looks like the same sample now, right? And that's got an effect on it. Now I can play it back as it is. And that's hitting hard. I can even take this sample again. <laughs> Watch this. I can normalize it again. Let's do it again. It's louder now. Hit it again. I will destroy every sample I get from Akai in an expansion pack. And I'll make it sound dope like this, so I'll rename it. It's mine now. It's not yours. It's all mine. Because I changed it with effects. I made it louder. I did a whole bunch to it. And I tend to do that. I suggest you do it too. You'll get better and stronger samples. I gotta go. I'll see you in a few. Uh-oh. She's coming.